So here's a catacomb story. Uh, this one doesn't involve students. As a matter of fact, it involves a murderer. This story takes place back in the 50s. During the Christmas break, one of those winters, when we were having that long, long fog, um, a condemned murderer escaped from the county jail in Martinez as he was being transferred to San Quentin, where he would have gone to the gas chamber. The following day, following night, he made his way over here to St. Mary's in Moraga. The sheriffs were hot on his tail and they chased him up the main drive and up toward the chapel. He ran down toward the dining room, Oliver Hall, jumped over the edge of the, the fence in front of Oliver Hall and he went into the entrance of the catacombs. So in those days, um, there was a large, uh, completely cement room in which all of this distribution machinery and things like that um, was kept. And uh, uh, it looked like a set of the old Frankenstein movies with all the levers and dials and switches and, 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 and various uh, pieces of wire and those things frightening, spooky, and absolutely dangerous. Well, the sheriffs were coming from either side, and unfortunately, the murderer made a wrong turn. It was dark at the time, and suddenly there was a flash like fireworks, and they heard a long, blood-curdling scream. The murderer had run smack into the electrical machinery, and he didn't need to make a trip to San Quentin.